This is amazing. What if you can integrate Autogen Assistance API with function calling? You have your own function or a program and you want to integrate that with Autogen Assistance API. That's exactly what you're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Autogen Assistance API with function calling facility. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in my YouTube channel about artificial intelligence. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to function calling in GPT assistant agent for detailed step to step guide. I've already covered this in the previous video, which I will link in the description below. Now we need a function to provide it to the assistant. So as a first step, pip install Y finance. This is used to get the stock price in the code. You're going to import the Y finance as YF. Then you're going to create a function called get stock price. The input parameter is a symbol and it returns the price. Next, we are going to define the function calling configuration. For that, we're going to add tools list and within the list, you're adding type function and then the function is get stock price. And the only required parameter is a symbol. Now we're going to pass this tools list in the LLM config here, tools equals tools list. And finally, we are passing the LLM config inside the GPT assistant agent. We are asking what is the stock price of Apple in this as a user proxy. I'm asking question to the stock assistant asking what is the stock price of Apple. So as a quick overview, we are defining the function and the definition of function calling in the tools list and passing the tools list inside the LLM config and passing the LLM config in the GPT assistant agent. If you see the GPT assistant agent, this will automatically create an assistant if we don't provide an assistant ID. So now we're going to run this code Python GPT assistant function calling dot pi. That's where my code is. And you can see the assistant ID was none. We didn't provide the assistant ID. So it's creating a new assistant itself. I apologize for the inconvenience. So it is not able to perform the action because there's one more step to follow. We need to register the function GPT assistant dot register function and the function map get stock price and get stock price. That's it. Now we are going to run this code Python function calling dot pi. What is the stock price of Apple? Now you can see it's executing the function get stock price and the current stock price is 188.01 USD. That's it. As simple as that. You have integrated your own function in GPT assistant agent without GPT assistant agent chat GPT can't get the stock price in real time. If you have any application which can get data in real time, you can integrate that with GPT assistant agent. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.